back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I'm Monica and today we have finally another dupes video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I really like to make sure I truly believe something is a dupe or as close to a dupe as possible. So that is why I don't do them so, so often. But we are back and we've got such a nice group of products to talk about. I genuinely love all of these products, both the high-end options and the drugstore or less expensive alternatives to those high-end options. And so I'm so, so excited to tell you about them. We have one product that I believe has been fully discontinued and then we have some other ones that I'm just so, so excited to talk about. So, without further ado, why don't we just go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm going to go in the order that I put makeup on. It's going to be a weird order, but we're going to start off with mascara. So, obviously I am wearing these products today. So one half of my face is high-end, one half of my face is drugstore. I just kind of insinuated which one was which. So, if you haven't guessed by now, this side of my face is high-end. And this side is the drugstore side, so I'm really excited to tell you that to start this off, we have a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash. So I have the mini because I do not want to spend the big bucks of $29 on this. Even this was $16, which is a little much, but I got the mini because I was like, I might as well just get the mini because I'm probably not ever going to buy it again because I'm going to be buying the dupe from now on, which is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Obviously, this is trying to dupe this. I do have this in the brown shade though, and this is in their just like traditional black shade. So there is a slight difference on my eyes, but honestly, it's not that much. So uh, this is $6, which means that this is less than half the price that the mini one of this is, and is much less expensive than the traditional size of this one. And honestly, they are the exact same. My eyelashes, honestly, I'm gonna be honest, this obviously is the side that this one is on. It's looking a little bit better than the Benefit one. I, I have tried this one in the past, but it had been a while, so I repurchased it to test it against it. And this one does seem to be more prone to clumping, not a ton, but just a little bit more than this, whereas this one is very like fluttery, butterfly -y, almost like fluffy in the best way. So I highly recommend getting the drugstore version of this. After I'm done using this, I'm not repurchasing this, but I will continue to repurchase this. The wands are also the exact same, so it's pretty obvious that e.l.f. was trying to do benefit, and there's no doubt that they were successful at that. So this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. This is the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. It has been used and abused. I've had it since it first, first launched. I think in the end of 2022, it did come back for like a limited time restock this past fall and winter season in 2023. And it is showing that it is still in stock on Makeup by Mario's website, but it is not available at Sephora. And I'm pretty sure this is the last restock of this. So you will no longer be able to get this after it is completely sold out on Makeup by Mario's site. This is a hefty $68. That is expensive. It is a beautiful palette. I mean, that is, you can't deny it. It's beautiful. It's, all the shimmers in here are gorgeous. The mattes are just so blendable. There is a reason that I love this palette so much. I have heard that the newer released version of it from like the tail end of last year was not as good as this one. I can't say that for sure. I didn't repurchase it again, but this one, it's, it's, it has my heart. It really does. But because it is not available anymore, and I do highly recommend this one, and I love the color story, I was browsing through Ulta one day and realized that ColourPop has a very, very similar eyeshadow color story. So this is the ColourPop 1111 palette. Uh, you will see that these are so, so similar. The color story is almost identical. I found eight dupes in the ColourPop one for eight shades in the Makeup by Mario one. This is $18, so it is much, much less expensive. Still kind of up there, but ColourPop's formulas are always great, so I always get behind them. I just love this shadow formula so much. Even if I weren't comparing it to the Makeup by Mario one, I would be recommending it. But if you're like, I missed out on the ethereal eyes and I need a dupe for it, I need something like that, I love that color story, this is such an excellent option. The shimmers in here are the most comparable to the Makeup by Mario shimmers in the ethereal eyes that I have ever found. 
not to say they're identical, but they are so, so similar and they give such a similar look on the eyes, you basically cannot tell. I can't tell, I'm wearing them today and they look pretty much identical to me. So the fact that I was able to find basically a dupe and I've actually seen other people on TikTok have mentioned this as a dupe. I didn't realize that other people had thought that until after I bought this, but it is kind of being seen as a dupe for this beloved, beautiful palette. And I know you can't tell here, but you did just see a little clip of these together and they are so, so similar. There's no denying it. And I'm telling you, both of the eyeshadow formulas on this are great. And in case you miss this or you don't want to splurge on it while it's still in stock, Definitely try this out. I guarantee you will love it. So now that we have covered some eye dupes, let's move on to face. So I have a foundation dupe that I am so, so excited about that I haven't heard anybody else talking about. Not that I'm the first one to think of it, but I am pretty excited because I haven't heard anybody else mention this. And it is a dupe for the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. I, I really do enjoy it. It tends to break apart a little bit on my chin, but overall it is one of the better higher end foundations in my opinion. I have to admit that I'm a drugstore foundation person for the most part. You have to be like applying yourself if you're a high end foundation in order for me to think that you are worth the extra money. But this is really, really good. Um, but like I said, the only thing is that it does tend to break apart on my chin, but the dupe does not. So this is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation and it is identical. When I tell you it is identical, when I was putting them on again today after testing them for a while, I was like, you would have no idea that these are two different foundations. That's obviously the idea of dupes, but what I also like is that I found foundation dupes in the past that I still stand by. However, these are both claiming to be more skincare centered, and so that's another dupe aspect of it that I would like to kind of shout out and acknowledge. Now I'm not going to sit here and say the ingredients are identical, but both of these do really well on my acne prone skin in terms of not irritating it and honestly I do think they make my skin look so much nicer um, and so they both succeed at that. This is a hefty, hefty price for a drugstore foundation. It is $17.99 retail which is absolutely insane. However, this is still cheaper than this if you buy this for $17.99 like at your Ulta or wherever because this is still $52. However, if you get this on Amazon, which I highly, highly recommend, it is like 12 or 13 bucks, which is still high in my opinion compared to what drugstore foundations used to be at, but it's closer to what I would think is a little bit more reasonable for a drugstore price nowadays. So just a little tip for me to you, but these are identical. They apply the same. They feel the same. The only thing is, is this one has kind of a, a very strong smell. <laughs> um, it's a lot. It dissipates, but it does kind of smell like paint but it goes away. This one doesn't have any smell that I can smell at all, so if you are sensitive to smell, that is something to note. However, both of these look the same on the skin. I think my skin looks so nice and my skin is not behaving right now, so the fact that these two foundations made my skin look a lot more youthful and less broken out and put together is, you get A pluses from me in my book. And honestly, you can build these up, I would say they kind of shine maximum coverage wise at like medium. I wouldn't go like three, four layers, but two layers, that is where these really shine. And one layer, I'm only wearing one layer today. And I'm telling you, it is, these go on beautifully. I did use different parts of this Blendiful that I like to use and that does give the maximum coverage. But with a brush, these also give a really nice coverage. I would say light to medium off the first with a brush and probably light with a sponge on both of these. And then you can build them up to medium with a second layer. And these are so beautiful on the skin. I, I cannot recommend either one of these enough, but I will say I will not be repurchasing this one ever. And I will be repurchasing this one again. I wouldn't say ever because never say never, but the likelihood of me repurchasing this is so, so low because it is, $52, that's expensive. And this one, though it is $17.99, which is still pricey for a drugstore foundation, it's the same thing. And I can even get this one cheaper by going the Amazon route. So highly recommend checking out the Revlon one if you haven't yet. And if you love this one and you're like, this is a lot of money out of my pocket every time I purchase it, definitely check this one out as well. 
Love both of these though, think they're both excellent foundations. So we all know the Becca Under Eye Brightener, now it's been bought by Smashbox because Becca went out of business. This is a beautiful under eye brightener, there's no denying that. It's a holy grail for a reason and has been for a really long time for a reason but it's pricey. It's $33, which is a lot for an eye brightener. I mean, one of my favorite under eye correctors, which is sort of in the same family, is the Charlotte Tilbury one. But this is still $33. It's a lot of money. No, you don't run through it fast. So, I mean, you probably would be able to kind of get your money's worth. However, the dupe, which I believe is basically 100% a dupe, is the Catrice under eye brightener. This is the closest I have found to the Becca one. Texture-wise, color-wise, finish-wise, how it lays under the eyes, how well it covers, all of the above. It looks so, so good. And honestly, I reach for this one more often than this, probably because it's only $6, whereas this one, like I said, is 33. This one has 0.3 less grams than this one. Still, I mean, you could get a bajillion of these and still spend less money than you do for this one. So honestly, I've only heard one other person talk about these being a dupe and I think it needs to be shouted from the rooftops. My eyes look so awake and let me tell you, I did not get nearly enough sleep right last night. So both of these are really working extra hard and this one is extra impressing me because it's only $6. Please try it out. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury product that I don't know is super well known because I don't think you can buy it at Sephora. I bought mine on Charlotte Tilbury's website. I don't know why. I just saw it and I was like, sure, I'll take it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip and Sheet Glow. It's really, really pretty. I mean, it smells delicious. It is amazing, but it's $40, so it is quite up there in price. And I just recently did a Dollar Tree video and I was trying out the cream blush that I found there from Be Pure, and it is the same. Now, you may look at these and be like, those are not the same shade, but I'm telling you, when they go on your cheeks, I applied them today, they, they show up the exact same. So I will say Charlotte Tilbury is kind of notorious for this being like really muted and it going on much pinker than it comes like than you think it would based on how it is in the pan so that could have something to do with it because this is very true to color to how it lays in the pan but the formula is the same you could use this on your lips as well i use them pretty much just for like cheek products because i don't usually wear these kind of products on my lips but you could this works well on your lips too these are the same when I was doing that video, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm pretty sure this is the exact same. That really, really, really impressed me. And it, it's reminding me of a really high-end cream blush. Is it a dupe? I will test it out and let you know. Is it a dupe for that Charlotte Tilbury cream blush that I do really like? And I've been testing them since then. And no over-exaggeration they are. And this is $1.25. $40, $1.25. Also, shout out to Dollar Tree. Your makeup collection and what you sell has really gotten so much better and I'm very impressed. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely go check it out. But I mean, you are you could buy pretty much 35 of these, whatever. I don't do math, like I don't like math. But you could probably buy 30 of these for the price of this. And you might even have money left over for like some candy or something. So I highly recommend skipping out on this and getting this one instead. If you have been eyeing this, it's like I said, I don't think it's super, super well known, but it is really good. And the people who do love it, love it. So I definitely recommend this. Obviously the packaging is not even a competition. I mean, we've got clear dingy packaging and then we have the beautiful state of the art. Charlotte Tilbury packaging. So if you're wanting packaging, then just go for this one. But if you're wanting formula and you don't want to spend the big bucks, go for the Be Pure one. I'm telling you, it's so good. I think they do carry a couple of other colors. I believe this shade was nude. And by the way, this shade is in Color of Dreams. There are only two shades of this, if I'm remembering right. So yeah, you do, do have a couple of options in each line, but Nude, Color of Dreams, they're dupes for each other, even if they don't look like it in the pan. All right, we have a dupe for the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So I did a 
trying to make a video right around the time that I uploaded that Dollar Tree makeup video. I think it was like a week apart. And I tried out a liquid blush in there, very newly launched. You could probably guess it by now, the e.l.f. one. And I was like, this is obviously trying to do the rare beauty. Let's try it out. It did go on pretty much identical. So I was like, all right, well, I need to test these side by side and see how I think they perform in comparison to each other and if the e.l.f. one is, in fact, a dupe for the rare beauty one. So I do have the shade Dusty Rose in the e.l.f. one, and I have the shade Hope in the rare beauty one and they are identical formula wise color wise yeah they're the same and this one is seven dollars this one is 23 rare beauty does really well with their pricing for being a high-end brand but if you're still like that's too much money for me and you want to try their blush or something similar get the elf one seven dollars you can get it at ulta walmart the drugstore and you're saving 15 bucks, there's some good math for you. And you can save that or spend that elsewhere and you're getting the same thing. No, it's not as pretty. It's not as luxurious looking in terms of packaging, but these are the same. Pigmentation wise, performance wise, they are the same. At least for somebody with my skin tone, I know the deeper shades can differ. I can't speak for those, but for these two shades, Dusty Rose and Hope, they are the same. And I do know they have a variety of different shades in both lines that are probably pretty comparable to the other line. So I've got two more categories of products, highlighter and lip, and we've got a couple of different dupes for each. So let's start off with the highlighter. And so I found a dupe for the Give Check My Glow Platinum Cowgirl Highlight. Platinum Cowgirl is, I believe, the name. This is a grid type highlighter. It's so, so pretty. However, it is a hefty 30 bucks. And I've been using it for a while now. It's not a super new launch, but I've really been enjoying it. It is so nice. I just get my brush and you know, kind of like mix it all together and apply. And it's just the most beautiful lit from within highlight. But as I was trying it out, I was like, this is the same basically in terms of how it performs and what the end result of mixing all the different gritting shades are. It's the same thing as the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. I have loved the Essence Pure Nude Highlight for years. So you're obviously going to tell that this is not a grid highlighter. So in terms of that, these are not the same. But I feel like if you're looking at them, you can kind of tell that these have a very similar undertone when you're just kind of looking at them. Like you can tell they probably make a similar shade and they also have a similar effect and you would be right on both of those counts. These, when you mix all the shades in this and then you just apply this as it is with a highlighting brush, they give the most beautiful lit from within highlight and they are pretty much the exact same shade. So I'm telling you, 30 bucks, $4.99. This has been a holy grail for years and years and years and years. It is a lit from within highlight. It is the perfect bridal shade. If you're around my skin tone, I keep shutting the lid, but it is perfect. This is beautiful. No, I wouldn't repurchase this, but I would repurchase this in a heartbeat because it's five bucks for what will last forever. I've had this probably longer than I should, and I don't have any intention of giving, getting rid of it now, just gonna be honest. And this, though it is beautiful, and I love the packaging and the gritting of how the highlight is laid out, I don't think you need it. I think that these are the exact same. So I found another dupe for another Rare Beauty product. So this is their highlighter. So this is their Positive Light Silk Touch Highlighter. It is very glitzy, very glammy. I have it in the shade Exhilarate. And it's it's a lot. It's a punchy highlighter, more 2016-esque in a classier way, I guess is how I would kind of say this. Not so chunky as some of those highlighters that we loved during that time, but it's a little expensive. And if you're somebody like me and you're like, I don't really use that kind of highlight a lot, or you want to use it more for your eyes, but you don't want to spend the money, I'm telling you right now. There is one from Moira. This one from Moira is literally the same. Shimmering wise, like goes on punchy highlight, but in a more elegant way. The layout is very similar. I love the packaging on the Moira one, by the way. Moira one. I want to keep, like I can't talk, but the Moira one, it has like a dome. It's got that same sort of feel. I love, it's a very sturdy packaging. This is $8.50. And it's actually on sale right now for $6.50 if 
you're wanting to check it out. I mean, it's on sale as I'm recording this. Hopefully it still is by the time you see this video. These are the same. I applied them on top of the other ones today just to show you, but they are the same. I did diffuse them with uh, a brush because I was like, that's a lot. But when you see in the clip of where I'm applying them, you can see just how punchy these both are and they are the same. So this one is in Reckless Love, by the way, and this one is in the shade Exhilarate. They are dupes for each other. They are beautiful. They are both very punchy. Wouldn't say that I would use them often, and if I did, I probably would actually reach for them like for a nice inner, cor inner corner highlight or also like on the lid. But if you're wanting something with a punch just to have for like a nice night out, you don't wear it every day, you definitely want to check the Moira one out instead. Save your money, get the dupe, because there is not a difference between them. All right, so we're to lips now. And I, like I said, I do have two different dupes, so technically four more products, but two more sets of products. So I have two lipsticks that have been sitting in my lipstick drawer that I use. Like, I cycle them in and out through st Shop My Stashes and stuff like that, and I just have been noticing that they're the same. So first we have this MAC. Kiss Velvet Blur Lipstick. I have this in the shade Over the Taupe. It's a beautiful, like, folly shade, wintry shade, and it's this very smooth matte formula. I also have this L'Oreal Colorish Intense Matte Lipstick in the shade Le Wood. And when I tell you these are identical, these are the most identical. Like, so identical formula-wise, how long they last, shade, the pigmentation. I mean, these could not be more of the same unless they were literally the exact same product. So I am impressed even the packaging is very, very similar in terms of obviously the matte and then the gold accents. But I don't know if this was meant to dupe this or if it just happened to. I'm just saying I noticed it and I was like, I need to talk about this now because although I do think this is such a good, good formula, this one is $13.99 and this one is $28. So you're saving literally half. So I have a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja Plumping Lip Gloss. So this is obviously a very well-known product, has been for a while now, and a lot of companies are now coming out with dupes, and NYX is one of those companies. So I have the NYX Slick Click Fat Oil, and these are the exact same. Except for the fact that this is $24 and this is $11, so a little bit less than half. This is in the shade, link in my bio, and this is in the shade Peachy Beige. They're the same. This one maybe has a little bit more pigmentation off of the first swipe, but once you get to like the second swipe with the NYX one, they're the same. And these are the same shade. I also have tried to purchase the e.l.f. version of this, like the Pout Cloud, whatever it's called, like the clickable plumping pen, because I do think that it would be an even cheaper version of this, because this is $11 and this is $24, and I think the e.l.f. one is like six or eight or something like that. And I've been trying to place an order for like a month and a half, and e.l.f. will not let me place the order. I don't know what it is. I've tried several cards. I've tried several accounts. I've even like tried to check out as a guest, and I don't know what is going on, so I can't say for sure if that one is, but I imagine it is. I've heard a lot of people say it is, so if you also want to check that one out, it's a little bit less funny. But let's talk about the NYX version, which I think is so, so good. I do think that this one has a little bit more of, like, pigmentation when it comes to a first swipe, but once you get to the second swipe of the NYX one, you have the pigmentation of the Tarte one. These are pretty much identical. Other than the smell, the smell is coconutty in this, and the smell is like, I don't know. It's not coconutty in this, but they plump. They feel so, so good on the lips. I love the way they look. They're getting essentially the exact same product. So buy the NYX, skip the Tarte. They're they're the same. Alright, so that is it, and I'm really, really proud of all the dupes we have here. Like I said, the ColourPop palette is not an entire dupe for the Makeup by Mario one, but 8 out of 12 shades, being complete dupes, is not bad, in my opinion. And if you're wanting to kind of get the same color story but not splurge $68 on the Makeup by Mario one before it's completely discontinued and sells out entirely, then get the 11 and 11 one. I always back ColourPop's eyeshadow palette formula because I love it. I think it's great regardless of if it's a dupe or not. But I would say, to be honest, if you're eyeing any of the high-end versions of this, but you're like, I don't want to splurge, maybe pass on the high-end versions and just go for the drugstore options because if it were me, I would have no problem decluttering any of the high-end versions 
because the drugstore options offer the exact same to what the high-end versions offer. So that is the point of dupes. It's really exciting when you find a good handful of dupes. And I'm so excited to share those with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, found it enjoyable and all that good stuff. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And also subscribe if you have not already. I'd love to have you stick around long term. I love like the little family that we're creating over here. So definitely click that subscribe button if you'd like to join. And if you haven't yet, also check out the rest of my channel if you haven't. I have a recent empties video that just went up. Also shot my stash video, Dollar Tree video, trying new makeup. We do a lot of stuff over here. I think that vlogs are going to be making a little bit of a comeback soon because I've done a lot of sit-down videos because I did Vlogmas in December. So I was trying to mix it up a little bit and have done quite a lot of sit-down videos. But I think vlogs are going to make a comeback. But yeah, I do a lot of different things, so check me out if you haven't yet. And like I said, subscribe. I've said subscribe like a billion times, but please subscribe. It really does help. And also click that thumbs up and notification bell because those also help as well. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. So I hope you guys have the best rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next video.